All right, folks, so it's that time of year when folks feel rejuvenated and ready to make goals. But for some, February comes and the goals go. So to tell us not only how you can flesh out your goals, but actually see them through. Goal accelerator strategist, Nicole McLaren Campbell is with us. Nicole, well, good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. How are you? Morning, you guys. I'm so happy to be here. Nice, nice, nice. Great it's good to, to have, have you. With you. Us. Yep. Um, so what are you telling us this morning now? What are you going to tell us this morning? Neville, I'm telling you that it is all absolutely possible um, for you to create the life that you love to live. Not just want to live, but love to live. And you can do it through the power of vision boarding. And of course, as you mentioned, making sure that the goals do not fall by the wayside by February, which is what happens to 20% of people. So, so we it have, doesn't have to happen to you. We have to make realistic goals, though. You can't just get up and say, all right, I want nine hosts by February. That don't make any sense at all, does it? Not at all. I'm sure we've all heard about creating smart goals. Yes. But really and truly, it's about making sure that your goals, before you even get to the smart goals part, you have to know your why. Why do I want what I want? Because the mistake a lot of people make is that they set goals that are just kind of surface. Oh, I call them, wouldn't it be nice if, you know, like, wouldn't it be nice if I got this or, you know, got that or went here or went here? And when you really dig beneath, there is no real consequence. So like Simone or Neville, if you say, what happens if I don't do this? You say, oh, no big deal. Like, it would be nice if, but if you don't do it, no big deal. And that's one of the top reasons that a lot of people don't stick to their goals is because, they didn't dig deep enough to find that one. I want to ask you. Yes, go on, Miss. The work that you do before you actually get to the fun part, everybody likes this part where you get cut out magazines and all of this, but the work that you actually do before the fact on really getting to know yourself and getting to know what you really want deep down inside, that's the work. So let me ask you a question now, because you're, uh, you're trained in this skill, right? Vision boarding is a skill. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and you're constantly studying this as a science behind human productivity and efficiency for goal achievement. So tell me what it is about that board, Nicole, and that switch in your brain that causes that action to be, to be to be produced or that causes you to, to flip to that gear that says, I have to do this. What's the science behind vision boarding and the way it affects our, our, our mind, our thoughts? Right. So, um, so step one, you dig behind the why, right? The power of the actual vision board is because of the power of our conscious, subconscious, and something in our brain called a reticular activation system. So basically, the best example I can give is when you're thinking about buying a new car, right? Let's say you're going to buy a green Toyota RAV4. All of a sudden, everything you see all around you, are, it's happening to all of us, right? And, and you're suddenly thinking, did everybody on the road, like, go and buy the car that I want? No, they didn't. But you are now conscious of, um, of green Toyota rav in other words, your brain is thinking this is relevant. And our brain filters out information all the time as irrelevant, just because if we didn't, we'd be in a constant state of sensory overload. There are too many mm -hmm. messages and switches, mm -hmm. so our brain filters them out. And when you set up a vision board and you really get deep in the things that you want and you, you make them real on the board, your brain all of a sudden, your reticular activation system is like, oh, that matters, that counts. And so, so many of the people that on vision boarding will come back in six months, less than a year, and say, oh, my God, the perfect opportunity opened up, uh, you know, for me to do X, Y, and Z. I don't know how it happened. I just overheard, and somebody just reached out. And it's because, all of a sudden, your brain is, is more focused. So you're going to overhear things you didn't hear of. Things are going to occur to you when you meet people that wouldn't have occurred to you before because now your dreams and goals are actually really out there and, and on, on the board. And you yeah. should push yourself even if you feel afraid of what those are. Even if you think they're not going to happen, you still have to push yourself to be bold on your vision board. Mm -hmm. All right, we are going to go to the board, Nicole, and you could kind of talk us through this. But um, I guess it's, it's not as simple just to say a vision board is like a to-do list. It's, it's, it's a little bit more than that, isn't it? No, 
definitely not a to-do list. It is a visual representation of your ideal vision for your life. So after you figure out, you know, where you want to go with your life, what you want to create in the world, what do you want to share in the world, a good way never to think about it is answer the question, because I lived what? You know what I mean? So like if it was your last day on earth, many years in the future, and you were lying on your deathbed at like 100 or however long you want to live, and you look back at this life that you've lived, what would have needed to happen during the course of that life for you to just die quickly and sacrifice? Yeah. And then, yeah, you know, so, and that's a pretty deep question to contemplate, but that's the depth with which you have to approach your board, right? And then you want to be thinking now in different areas for your life, right? So what everybody needs to create their own definition of success. I'm really big on it. It's not about like looking at somebody else's life on Instagram and saying, oh, I want that, I want that. No. What does success mean for you? Some people want children, some people don't want children, for example. Yeah. You know? All right, where we start? Where we start? What we must do? All right, so what are the areas that are most important for your success and happiness, Neville? I'm putting you right on the spot. What? Ask that question again. What are the areas of your life that are most important for success for you? What, what areas matter most? Um, so what, area, what area would be more... Success for me? Areas of your life oh. are important for your success. Yeah, um, I, I think I do it already, but I, I, I try to insist that I eat healthily. Right. Um, so I, I shall just put it up on the board anywhere, exactly. does it? So, health and fitness. so what I normally do yeah. is I flip my board backwards, so I can't do it here because I have this set up for today. Yeah. But if you flip the back of my board, there's always writing. Like, look at that old board of mine. Okay. That's where I put all the right. So, so that's I can, what I want. I, sorry. So I can't put it anywhere. Put it anywhere. All right. So we don't want areas. Nicole, I noticed that what you have on that board, right? What that we're looking at, there are buckets, right? So it's it's like buckets that you'd I guess drill down on. So is that the rule of thumb? You you get the big buckets and then you build out the actual objective under the buckets? Right, so you identify your like mission, vision for your life and what you would want your life to mean. Right. You pick up your why, then you identify those bucket areas. So for me, um, on my vision board, this one I'm doing, it is um, career, mm -hmm. financial, relationships, and learning. Those are my four areas I'm focusing on for the next five years. So this is a five year vision. Career, board. financial, relationships, and learning. Learning. Love those that. Okay. Health and wellness and mental health and wellness is, is also an area. Okay. And then you want to think about what is your ideal vision in each of these areas and you actually write it out. What's my ideal vision for my financial life? So, what's your ideal vision for your financial life? Your ideal vision. Oh, I want to self actualize to a point where I don't ever have to worry about money for myself exactly. or my child. In the name of Jesus. So you write that down, you don't just have that in your brain. Like you write that down on the back of your vision board. And then, never what's your ideal vision? Ideal vision, this is the highest outcome you could possibly be living for your health and wellness. What, what is that? Yeah. Um, I want it kind of rough to, to, to come up with so quick. No, um, no, man. On the spot. But if, if you want to definitely come up with that and write it out. Okay. So like I remember a couple of years ago was to eat for energy consistently. Right, right. We're out of time, but what I've done, um, one of my many weaknesses is I lack patience. You know? Yeah, no. One of my many weaknesses. Hey. I'm not a, a very patient hey. person. So I would love to see that. I want some money. And I told Sim, I have a car. But if I ever get enough money, for some reason, for me as a little boy, I want two cars. I just always yeah. wanted to have two cars. So No, you don't want, you, you, see, you have to be specific about it. You want a mini, say so right down underneath it, you want a mini. I want a mini Cooper. Cooper as right. my second you want car. To specific, you want to think about how long your vision board, or how many years it's spanning. So mine is five. And then very important, you need to focus on how you want to feel, not just on the things you want to have. You okay. want to focus on how you want to feel. So this is not just about like a resolution. This is mm -hmm. not just about this year. This is a long-term thing mm -hmm. you're talking about. This is a life design. All right. We have to go. 
Um, Nick, Nicole, do you do this as a, an offering? Do you offer vision boarding classes? <laughs> Vision board um, classes on goalaccelerator.com slash shop. So right. here you can do a vision board course with me and I'll take you step by step. Coming up with your mission and vision statement, getting the whole board complete. Awesome. All right. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Um, it was great. Happy New Year and God bless you and your family. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Life of your dream come true. The life of your dream. Thank, thank you, my you. love. I'm making my notes, so i on it. Goal accelerator <laughs> strategist uh, Nicole McLaren Campbell. Artists, the next segment is for you, how you can benefit from the Catapult Art Grant.